With this particular mystery, we wanted to go a bit old school and kind of look at delivering a good old fashioned treasure hunt, but we wanted to go all out to make it the best treasure hunt we could that brings the whole community together in a race to find that treasure at the end. The Hoarder's Hunt is the brand new mystery coming to Sea of Thieves and we're really excited about it because we've always wanted to do a real world treasure hunt um, and this felt like the perfect opportunity to do it and we have got one of the most valuable prizes we've ever given away in Sea of Thieves history. The Gold Hoarder's Skull, fashioned from actual real gold and in his jaw he's going to be clasping four gold keys as well. This is truly a bespoke, one-of-a-kind piece. What better way to reward the community for taking part in the greatest treasure hunt the Sea of Thieves has ever seen than a real-world golden prize that they can cherish forever. I can't wait. So in order to play, you need to go to the mystery on the Sea of Thieves website, opt in by signing up. You'll then be able to see the first clue. The Hoarder's Hunt is going to run for four weeks. We wanted it to be something that was quite snappy and continually serving players something new to do. So every week, you'll start off with a letter from this mysterious H. And each part will consist of one set of puzzles outside of game, which will then allow you to unlock one of the hunt voyages in game. When you reach the last week, all bets are off, and now it becomes a straight up race between the community to become the first to complete H's voyages and claim that golden prize for your own. So there's this mysterious figure called H who's pulling all the strings you don't know if he's doing good or bad, you're not sure who he is. So he kind of forms the central part of the mystery. When you jump into the game, you will find at every single gold hoarder tent at the outpost, a mysteriously placed chest with three locks on it. There's gonna be no indication of where this chest has come from. The gold hoarder traders are none the wiser. The mystery has begun. You speak to Lorena and you'll find that Lorena is in possession of four hunt voyages. These voyages are currently locked off they are requiring you to complete the puzzles outside of game to unlock each one of these voyages. So in order to make it really challenging and difficult, something that's really going to tax the community, we actually went and worked with one of the country's top puzzle masters in order to come up with some fiendish clues. And they're really difficult. I know them all, still don't know the answers. We want people to scour the internet, like these clues could be almost anywhere. Um, and you might have to go through images to find a single pixel which will lead you off into a completely unexpected direction. So the hunt is on across the internet, across all the media where the community are there vying to be the first to uncover these clues. To potentially solve them together, we want some of these clues to be difficult. So you are torn between, do we work together as a community to push forward, or do we try and be a bit sneaky? Do we try and keep the answers to ourselves to give ourselves a bit of an advantage? It's entirely up to the community and we can't wait to see how it plays out. So once you've solved that fiendish trail of puzzles within each chapter, you'll go back to the website, enter in your answer, and if it's correct, you'll be entitled with the voyage in-game. And off you go and complete the in-game section. And this hunt is gonna take you across the Sea of Thieves, across all of these locations that you've known and loved for the past five years. But unlike the way we've communicated landmarks and riddle locations for the past five years, you could have to see these locations through fresh eyes and try and piece together where this puppet master is leading you across the seas. With mystery one, obviously it was a who done it. And we had who killed DeMarco was the central theme of the mystery and trying to find out who the actual murderer was. This time we wanted to do something a bit different. This mystery is very different to who killed DeMarco. We want every mystery to be exciting for the community so no one knows what to expect. That's half of how we make it a mystery. So we took inspiration from a number of places. Those people old enough to remember things like Sword Quest, but then kind of broader cultural things like Ready Player One which captures the imagination, again, of an avid community, all vying amongst themselves, working together, working against each other, to be the first to reach the end. There's something really evocative and exciting about that, and we feel that our community is going to really take to that as well. So with everyone moving together towards this grand prize, we thought this more focused approach made sense to get everybody at the same point at the same time. I am super excited about this mystery because this is at the heart of the pirate fantasy. There is nothing more piratey than a hunt for treasure. And this is the ultimate treasure hunt that will take our community far and wide outside of the game as well as in game. 
and I can't wait to see how the community tackle this. Because everybody else within the Sea of Thieves is going to be racing to try and get to that chest as well. And whoever is the first person to complete that voyage will be the person who wins the grand prize, the Golden Skull. So for all your mystery needs, you want to visit www.seaofthieves.com. That's where you get to opt in. And that's going to be where you find the first clue to take you on your hunt across the internet. So our second ever mystery, the Hoarders Hunt, uh, will launch on May 11th. And it's going to run for four consecutive weeks after that. So get your shuffles ready. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you just saw and want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then hit subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.